In a ground-shattering announcement, NASA disclosed that Voyager 1 has just made an impossible discovery. The age-long spacecraft has left an indelible mark on cosmic exploration with its breathtaking exploration of our solar system and interstellar space for the past five decades. However, now nearing the end of its life, this probe has just done the impossible, forever etching its name in the cosmic sands of time. What impossible discovery has Voyager 1 made? How many years does this revolutionary spacecraft have left? And what new achievements is NASA expecting before it finally shuts down? Join us in this video as NASA warns that Voyager 1 has made impossible discovery before shutting it down. If there's one space mission that has left an indelible mark in the sands of space-time, it's Voyager. Launched on September 5, 1977, with the sole purpose of exploring our solar system, the Voyager probes went above and beyond all expectations, travelling to vast reaches of space that had never been trodden before. Voyager 1's incredible voyage has been a joy to NASA and other members of the scientific community, as it has brought a truckload of data about our nearby cosmic environment. Today, five decades after the monumental launch sequence, the Voyager mission remains the longest running mission by any space agency in the world. It's still a miracle how this space probe managed to survive this long, given that initial predictions only pegged its lifespan at five years. However, this goes to speak of the sheer amount of ingenuity and technological genius employed in the invention of the Voyager spacecraft. Voyager 1 and 2 employed state-of-the-art technology, even for their time. From the engine to the propellers and antennas, everything was built to last. NASA used a design based on the Mariner spacecraft, but with several interesting modifications. The Voyager 1 had about 11 scientific instruments, including the ultraviolet spectrometer, cosmic ray system, magnetometer, imaging science subsystem, high gain antenna, and stabilization gyroscopes. These enabled the probe to study the various entities in space, including planets, stars, planetary rings, magnetic fields, radiation, atmosphere, and so on. NASA also took it upon itself to shove in a golden record containing vital data about humanity to serve as a message to any extraterrestrials who may be in the area. Making Voyager 1 required the collaboration of several creative minds, including Gary Flandro. This genius aerospace engineer didn't just help with the calculations involved in designing the Voyager spacecraft, but also helped mark out its trajectory. The Voyager 1's trajectory was paramount to its success, as it surprisingly overtook its sister probe, which had been launched two weeks earlier, thereby becoming the farthest probe from Earth and earning the title Voyager 1. Flandro's exceptional contributions led to the successful execution of the Voyager missions, especially Voyager 1's impressive overtaking of Voyager. In the 1960s, Flandro's genius made him identify a rare phenomenon called planetary alignment, during which all the planets are on the same side of the Sun. The enigmatic phenomenon only occurs once in a few hundred years. From some exceptional calculations, Flandro guessed one was about to happen in the next two decades, precisely 1980s. In light of this groundbreaking revelation, NASA and its brilliant team of scientists and engineers worked hard to complete the Voyager spacecraft in time for this extraordinary cosmic event. Thanks to this, the Voyager spacecraft, especially Voyager 1, got a huge gravitational assist, allowing it to cover vast distances in ample time. All Voyager 1 had to do was swing from one planet to the next, saving a tremendous amount of time and fuel. The phenomenal concept of gravitational assist has long been termed the slingshot effect. Till today, it's still a key element in the success of space missions, all thanks to Gary Flandro. However, for the slingshot effect to be truly effective, a probe must follow the right trajectory and timing. NASA managed to get the calculations right for the Voyager mission. To outwit some uncertainties, the agency decided to launch two probes instead of one. Voyager 1 was targeted at Jupiter and Saturn, 
while Voyager 2 aimed at Uranus and Neptune. At the time, these were the planets the scientific community was most curious about, as we had almost zero knowledge of what they looked like. You can imagine the excitement when these probes didn't just complete their flybyers, but also dived deeper into our cosmic neighbourhood, unlocking secrets beyond our imagination. As early as February 17, 1998, Voyager 2 had already become the farthest man-made space object from Earth, overtaking NASA's Pioneer 10. By August 16, 2006, it had travelled a distance of 9.3 billion miles, and as of today, it sits at a whopping 15.2 billion miles from Earth. Surely, you'd agree that this record-breaking space probe deserves all the attention it's getting from the scientific community. And it's even more perplexing when you consider that this ancient probe is still in constant communication with NASA. How does a 50-year-old space probe that has never undergone any repairs stay functional and effective enough to still send data to its creators? This, again, is a testament to the technological genius invested into this fabulous piece of science. For one, Voyager 1's radio communication is still active due to the sophisticated network of satellites and receivers NASA employed. Aside from the fact that Voyager 1 was installed with a high-tech, 12-foot diameter antenna, it uses NASA's deep space network to send messages to and fro. The Deep Space Network is the worldwide spacecraft communication ground facilities set up by NASA in various countries, capable of making radio communication possible over insane distances in the cosmos. Even if aliens were to send a radio message to Earth right now, this enthusiastic brainchild of science would be the first to pick it up. NASA built the Voyager antenna to be able to turn at will to always face the direction of Earth. Plus, it can transmit and receive signals in two frequency bands. The question is, why on Earth did NASA go so far in making this probe's radio communication system so sophisticated? That's because the agency predicted that a vast majority of Voyager 1's findings would come in the form of signals. Signals to and fro the Voyager take about two days to arrive despite traveling at the speed of light. This is all due to the extreme distance such signals have to cover amid the compendium of space and time. Moreover, things like the data rate, interference from other sources, and the accuracy of the antenna's direction toward Earth also play an enigmatic role in how fast data travels between NASA and Voyager. These radio signals have always been a key player in Voyager's cosmic exploration journey. So, NASA employs great patience and precision in sending commands or decoding data. And now, with Voyager 1's camera and other power-consuming sensors offline, the demand for this radio communication is higher than ever. If NASA hadn't gone above and beyond to make the probe's radio sensors so advanced, perhaps Voyager 1 would have been a worthless piece of space junk floating through space. Thanks to this sophisticated radio communication system, scientists are still receiving signals from the Voyager probe, some of which are very alarming. Recently, some spine-chilling data have been coming from the probe, and experts are speculating that something may be wrong with the probe. The problematic data from Voyager 1 began in 2022, throwing NASA scientists into panic. It wasn't long before rumours of extraterrestrial involvement began to spread across the board, as these data were too out of the normal. Some conspiracy theorists suggested that some entity may have tempered with the probe, causing it to misbehave and send nonsense data. Others suggested that the funky data sent back by Voyager may actually be encoded messages from an alien civilization. The theory of aliens intercepting Voyager 1 wasn't too far-fetched. NASA had anticipated this while manufacturing the Voyager probes. This was why it went through the trouble of installing the gold-plated information disks to tell a tale about humanity to any intelligent life out there. Then again, jumping to conclusions wasn't very logical because, apart from the weird and confusing data, there was no other proof that aliens were behind this. However, 
alien conspiracy theories began to spread once more within the scientific community when the Allen Telescope Array, ATA, collected strange data from Voyager 1 as well. This refurbished radio observatory in California plays the impressive role of searching for extraterrestrial life. And so you can imagine the enigma when it picked up odd signals from Voyager 1 using 20 of its 42 dish antennas. The telescope recorded about 15 minutes of data, which were stored on a disk. The team behind the discovery had this to say, the detection of Voyager 1, the farthest human-made object with the refurbished Allen Telescope Array, is an excellent display of the telescope's capabilities and strengths and a representation of the outstanding hard work put in by the ATA team since the start of the refurbishment program in 2019. Yet, the team failed to divulge any serious details about the data they collected or their take on the controversy at hand. NASA, however, didn't stop investigating the issue until they arrived at a viable conclusion. It turned out that aliens weren't involved in the matter at all. Instead, a simple technical glitch caused the whole issue. Although the agency wasn't sure when the glitch began, it had something to do with the flight data system, FDS. The FDS, which is responsible for gathering data from the spacecraft's many scientific instruments, and sending this data back to Earth via the telemetry modulation unit seemed to have malfunctioned. NASA disclosed that the instrument was transmitting a repeated sequence of 0s and 1s, unlike anything ever seen. Even after turning off this system and turning it back on to reset it, the problem still persisted. It was later that the team found out that the issue was with Voyager 1's attitude articulation and control system AACS. Tasked with keeping the Voyager's antenna pointed to Earth, this complex piece of machinery helps make the transmission of data correct. However, it turned out a small networking problem had arisen, as the AACS was sending telemetry data to the wrong computer. You see, the computer involved in this perplexing turn of events had failed some time ago, and so any data sent in by the AACS got corrupted immediately. It was this corrupted data that ended up on the scientists' table at NASA, making them scratch their heads. All NASA had to do next was issue a command to Voyager, telling it to send data through the right computer. Although the mystery behind this issue seems to have been solved, other questions still remain. For one, many members of the scientific community are asking questions like, why did the probe suddenly decide to switch computers? Was it just random, or did some external force or entity make it do so? Once again, fingers are pointing to the possible involvement of intelligent life forms in this mind-boggling mystery. NASA has admitted that there may be an underlying issue they still have to solve, as the puzzle is not yet complete. You see, if this was just another random fault, NASA's built-in fault detection systems would have been triggered. However, for the fact that everything read to be normal, chances are high that Voyager 1 decided to reroute its data control and transfer on command. If so, who gave the command and why? It would shock you to know that more mind-boggling signals were detected when Voyager entered interstellar space. Interstellar space, the vast cosmic wonderland outside our solar system, has always intrigued scientists. However, Nothing or no one could venture into this densely enigmatic region of the cosmos because we didn't have sufficient technical capacity for it. Filled with various forms of matter and energy, such as neutrinos and photons, interstellar space, or the space between star systems is much more sophisticated than what we see within our solar system. But then, this region of space holds the highest potential for finding alien life. Imagine finding an alien spaceship or an isolated extraterrestrial settlement completely kept away from humankind. So far, our limited technology has limited our physical search for extraterrestrials to the confines of our solar system. Many astronomers propose that if we can somehow get into interstellar space, we may discover something shocking beyond our wildest imaginations. And so, you can imagine the joy and enthusiasm in the scientific community when Voyager 1 crossed into interstellar space on August 25, 2012, 
ushering humanity into a new realm of cosmic exploration. Scientists quickly began to brace for an outpour of data when Voyager crossed the heliosphere. This fundamental solar bubble marks the end of our solar system and protects the solar system from the radiation from interstellar space. Beyond the heliosphere lies the heliosheath, and beyond this lies the interstellar medium, where the two antagonizing forces of solar winds and interstellar radiation meet. Scientists knew, as soon as Voyager 1 began its perplexing entry into the heliosphere, that they were about to witness one of the most revolutionary sets of discoveries ever. Thanks to Voyager 1's primal transition through the heliosphere and interstellar medium, scientists finally understood the intricacies of these cosmic entities. Before this time, all the scientific community had was theories and assumptions. Voyager clarified many of these assumptions while opening our eyes to new stuff we never knew existed. It was a breathtaking moment for everyone involved in the Voyager project, as scientists found themselves exploring the unknown world of interstellar space. Voyager 1 ultimately turned out to be the best gift the scientific community could ever ask for, as tons after tons of data kept pouring in. Scientists now have an idea of interstellar cosmic parameters like plasma density, magnetic field strength, cosmic ray intensity, and plasma waves. The high-energy cosmic rays detected by the Voyager have shocked scientists, as it was like nothing ever seen before. Scientists have confirmed an intense concentration of plasma particles in interstellar space, according to data recorded by Voyager 1's plasma wave instrument. The probe also made groundbreaking revelations about the magnetic field concentration in the region, as well as other intricacies about cosmic ray particles. You see, much of interstellar space is filled with high-energy cosmic particles expelled from supernovas and other cosmic cataclysms. Studying these paranormal entities would not only broaden our knowledge of the universe, but also open us to new ideas for research and exploration. Currently, Voyager 1 is the only hope for scientists to study the mystifying cosmic ray particles, as the heliosphere and heliosheath deflect the majority of these particles. Experts are, however, worried about how long the probe can last in these uncharted territories. Interstellar space can be unforgivingly treacherous, especially considering the fact that it was never prepared for the crazy voyage from the start. With the power output of the Voyager probes diminishing by 4 watts per year, current estimates of the Voyager's remaining lifespan sit at 5 to 10 years. However, it's still unknown if it will last that long, given the uncharted territory it's assumed to be in now. Scientists at NASA are doing their best to glean as much data as possible before Voyager 1 runs out of juice, as this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to explore interstellar space. Scientists have predicted that it's only a matter of time before the voyagers get to the mysterious entity, Oort Cloud. This celestial body of comet-like entities is very intriguing and massive, but is still an enigma to the scientific community. NASA predicts that the cloud may contain billions or trillions of objects interwoven together to form something truly breathtaking. From there on, there's no telling what other insane discoveries this probe will bring to the table. Researchers pray that the Voyager probes do not encounter any more malfunctions or mishaps before finally running out of fuel. Just so you know, Voyager 1 and 2 use a special kind of fuel known as hydrazine propellant. The simple concoction of hydrogen and nitrogen smells like diluted ammonia and is the basic fuel for the aircraft thrusters. Meanwhile, the other primary fuel source, plutonium, also serves as the primary electric source for powering the sensors and instruments. NASA built a complex engine for converting the radioactive isotope plutonium into electricity. These engines, known as radioisotope thermoelectric generators, feed off the heat generated by this isotope as it decays, converting it to power. NASA craftily encased the isotopes and generators in a special alloy to prevent damage from the cosmic elements as well as damage during crash impact. Voyager 1 has enough hydrazine to keep running for the next 15 years. However, 
not much can be said about its plutonium reserves. Experts speculate that reserves may run out in the next five years, after which Voyager 1 would aimlessly wander through space to meet a sad demise. With the probe nearing the end of its days, it's only ideal to recap its enigmatic wonders and discoveries, starting from the late 1970s when it first flew by Jupiter. Voyager 1's flyby of Jupiter revealed several shocking details about the planet that scientists had earlier not known, such as the thin ring around the planet and two new moons, Thebe and Metis. By November 12, 1980, Voyager 1 flew by Saturn, unveiling Saturn's epic moon, Titan, as well as the incredulous ring surrounding the planet. Voyager 1 unmasked the complex structure and dynamics of Saturn's rings, allowing scientists to see the gaps, kinks, waves, and other intricacies in these rings. Voyager 1 also revealed a new ring on Saturn, the G-ring, which was so small it couldn't be seen from Earth. It also unboxed other interesting moons on the planet which scientists are still studying today, including Prometheus, Pandora, and Epimetheus. Other impossible discoveries made by Voyager 1 during its Saturn voyage include the magnetic fields and magnetosphere of the planet, as well as auroras and plasma particles. It was revealed that Saturn, despite being an uninhabitable planet, had a magnetic field just like Earth, only much stronger and tilted. After Saturn, Voyager 1 navigated its way to Uranus, unveiling its complex surfaces and previously unseen moons. The various instruments on the probe also studied the extensive ring system around the planet, leaving scientists dumbfounded. From Uranus, Voyager 1 navigated its way to the edge of our solar system, scanning the enigmatic entities like Neptune, the Kuiper Belt, and the billions of dwarf planets in our solar boundary. Voyager 1 also gave humanity a once-in-a-lifetime view from deep space. The image, which has been famously named the Pale Blue Dot, opens our eyes to the unimaginable greatness that lies beyond our tiny solar system. In all, Voyager 1 has played a monumental role in our scientific quest so far to unravel the mysteries of the universe. Now, the only instruments left in Voyager 1 to do its scientific research work are the magnetometers, low-energy charged particle instrument, and the plasma measuring instrument. If these can hold out for another five to 10 years, we may just learn several shocking things about interstellar space that we never knew existed. Enthusiastic members of the scientific community have predicted that in the next 16000 years, Voyager 1 will reach Proxima Centauri b, our nearby cosmic star system rumored to contain aliens. Tales of aliens on Proxima Centauri have long sent shockwaves through the scientific community as many agree that this mysterious star system seems habitable. Moreso, many controversial tales of alien abductees have pointed at the enigmatic star system as the home base for the strange beings that captured them. Although scientists have mapped out several facts, theories and predictions about this wonder star system, the truth remains unknown. Until we can send a live investigator like the Voyager probe to explore the zone in real time, there's no way to solve this puzzle. Right now, humanity can only keep its hands crossed and hope that Voyager 1 gives us a few more years of ground-shattering discoveries before finally giving up the ghost. Even if it doesn't, it will forever be remembered as the most phenomenal spacecraft ever made by man. Thank you for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, click on the video on your screen to see more mind-blowing videos like this one.